one in a million who talks truth, who talks tough across the table, and who fought to get Nelson Mandela released from the prison of 26 years of incarceration, is the former Archbishop of South Africa, the late Desmond Tutu. Today we take the second quote of Desmond Tutu. Desmond Tutu said, if you want peace, you don't talk to your friends. You talk to your enemies. If you want peace, you don't talk to your friends. To talk peace, you have to become very, very strong. When you are very strong, you have more friends. Otherwise, you end up with artificial friends around you. Think about it. If you want peace, you don't talk to your friends, said Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Peace is easy to sing like in India, especially now Hindu culture, tradition, every song starts and ends with Om Shanti, 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 Peace, Peace, Peace. In that peace, we have forgotten to become the strongest. We forgot to become the most powerful. We forgot to Make sure that every talent of our body given by the nature has been totally utilized when the last drop of talent has been removed from your body. Then you find the strength. Every day I'm talking, every day. The day you forget, it adds up to your troubles. And the troubles you think are your enemies. The talent is not removed, that creates dirt by blocking your pipelines. And then you have to go to Dr. Dean Ornish to find out the reversal of heart disease, how problems like diabetes, heart disease all come. The pipelines are blocked. If your pipelines are blocked for your diseases, the mind is also blocked because you were not been able to remove the last drop of your talent from your body. There's been tutors, if you want peace, you don't talk to your friends, you talk to your enemies. First of all, there is no enemies. Enemies are created because you went lazy. One step of laziness leads to 10,000 of laziness. If you want peace, you talk to your friends. You don't talk to your friends. You talk to your enemies, said Desmond Tutu. When you talk to your friends, you are trying to depend on them. Like when you don't find an answer for your question. One way is you go and read the text and keep the dictionary next to you and try to find out, read the fine print. And Every kid has been taught to read the fine print thoroughly. And now because of the competitive exams and the competitiveness of the children, every child has forgotten to read the fine print. You must read the fine print. You must understand. Before you go even to the shop to even purchase a thing, you must be very sure whether you or not you get attracted all that glitters winter shopping you go and keep asking and disturbing that time you know your mind is under chance you must be very much sure what you really wanted if you do not want please do not even go to ask if you want it then you have to go back to your drawing room to do your homework that gives you the strength and in the strength you can see the people talking to you with the love and that love you find Om Shanti 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 you can find peace, peace, peace. Otherwise without you 
having your knowledge without you doing your homework you go and ask them then shanti peace will not come instead pieces will come p i e c e s mutton pieces and that creates the fight you shut up i shut up this mean tutor said if you want peace you don't talk to your friends you talk to your enemies you don't talk to your friends you talk who is your enemy the enemy is the one which you are not done your homework when you fell sick you rush up to the nearest hospital is your friend you rush up to the nearest doctor is your friend don't talk to your doctor don't talk to your host go to the hospital you have to find out if cold came it is the it's giving you a warning signal read the language on the wall read the writings on the wall goes the saying the writings on the wall the first call came body is telling it's time you take rest you fast and cleanse clean the pipelines you have to drink a lot of hot water you have to work very hard to sweat it out if you want health when you have have a illness don't rush up desmond tutu said if you want peace you don't talk to your friends you talk to your enemies you have a money problem you want to become rich you have a target and what will you do you want to compete with your friends so what you do you rush up to the money lender no when you have a problem with your money don't rush up to your money lender don't borrow money the day you borrow you have signed your debt then talk to you go to the money lender who is your money lender your body talk to your strengths talk to your talents and then you can find many avenues are opening and you will be shocked for the first time you realized what uh, swami vivekananda said talk to you at least for 10 minutes a day and you can find there is a huge amount of diamond lying inside here you and you have not polished neither you have used you used it if you want peace you don't talk to your friends you talk to your enemies yes first of all there is two enemies the enemies were created because of the communication gap yes The most beautiful part of our martial art was the knockdown bloodiest sport in the world and not a single day we leave the ring without shedding blood we hit so powerfully the friend which we worked together and the fight comes we put the total talent to punch and to be powerful and the opponents will never feel sad because he feel very happy because he has given the total money no fixed deposit total idea to me if i was weak and it has hurted me and if i got knocked on i have to go back to my drawing room to do more exercises and in the end of all this fight a bear hug where there is enemies the bear hug was not there for every one fight when you fight with your sister or brother or father or mother or your husband or wife at the end have a bear hug and learn a lesson from that fight that if you were wrong you have to work hard and you can find peace om shant te shant te shant te